Let's name. talk about it. Ain't got nothing on you. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Hello, and welcome to the latest edition of Let's Talk About It. We got a good one for you today, folks. I'm Rebecca Bartlemé. And I'm Jeremy Williamson. Here's what's happening in Pioneer Athletics. The men's soccer team defeated the former 17th ranked Titans from UW Oshkosh on Saturday. They defeated them 3-2 off of Wyatt Gilson's first goal of the year, which came in the final 10 minutes. The women's soccer team took on Buena Vista University on Tuesday, but the game was postponed due to weather. As of now, Yamalex Jaramillo leads the team in goals with 10, and Anna Sable and Miranda Holly are tied with team highs and assist at 4. This Saturday, the 12th ranked Pioneer football team will take on the 5th ranked Titans from UW Oshkosh. I got a chance to sit down with defensive coordinator Mike Schmidt as well as last year's All-American Andrew Corky Robinson, who's having a great year this year. They discussed this weekend's game as well as how the season's going so far. Hi, I'm Jeremy Williamson and I'm joined in first year defensive coordinator Mike Schmidt's office along with Schmidt himself and Andrew Robinson. So we got a big game coming up this weekend for the Pioneers. What is, what is the defense's approach towards an offense that is so efficient? We play our best football every play. That's got to be the key on a, against a team like this because there's so many ways they can hurt you. Uh, they're so dangerous personnel-wise, scheme-wise, formation-wise, that uh, if you're not playing your best football mentally, physically, emotionally on, uh, on every single play, then, then that, that's what's really going to get you hurt. And so. A team that's that's this high powered, uh, you really got to be keyed in on every single play. And I know that sounds like coach speak and and uh, pretty cliche for for everything, and it is. It's called the cliche because it's right. It works. You know, it's it's been tested. But against a team like this, it's especially true. Is there something specifically that you want to do as far as third down conversions or? Forcing them to kick field goals, you know, red zone defense, anything specifically that can limit the power that they have. Yeah, you got to limit big plays uh, right. against a team like this, and especially with the defense that they have. You're absolutely right um, that they can go and, and play defense against you and, and make it real difficult if, if they start scoring and, and getting a lead on you. Uh, but you got to limit big plays, and so you got to be keyed in on every play. You got to know your assignments on all on everything that we're doing with their multitude of, of options that they run, and then. Um, you really got to limit the big plays. We got to do a, a really nice job of, of I, you know, I don't know that I can say, hey, we got to get off the field. We've been pretty good getting off the field on third down. We've been, we got we to clean up our red zone, the zone part of it, but the biggest key is really got to limit the big plays. Like you said, they're going to get those close range opportunities yeah. no matter what. So um, we got to try to limit the, the, other, the other things that they do and the other times that they can get that. So. And Andrew, I just want to ask you, you've been here, this is your fourth year. As far as differences this year compared to the past couple seasons, how are how are you and the defensive line clicking, as well as with the linebackers with blitzes and everything? Um, I think uh, we're sitting at a good point in the season. We're really meshing well together. We've been staying healthy, which is extremely important to the success of a defense. Um, I mean, we lost some good guys last year, you know, Levi and Hoffman, but Austin Young, um, Nick Kilianic, those guys have been really stepping up. Even some of the freshmen have been coming in and just, you know, role playing and doing their job. So, I mean, defensively, even the linebacking core, we just are playing our defense, doing our jobs, and making big plays. Andrew Belkin's having a hell of a year, mm -hmm. and, you know, we're just going to keep doing our job. What do you think you need to do personally to kind of alter, get them off their? their momentum so you need to uh, get at the quarterback you know limit the running backs yardage what is there anything that you're focusing on doing this weekend our big focus is this uh, weekend is just to take away the rush you know they're a very good they have very good rushing offense and uh, we want to take away some of that I mean they're gonna really try to spread us out and they've got one of the best skilled uh, position players in the area or country some would say. Right, yeah. So I mean just handling those guys are extremely important. You're leading the leading the league in, in sacks and tackles for loss. How do you plan on, on reaching the quarterback and is he delivering the ball quickly? How is he be, being so efficient? What are you going to do to limit his opportunities? As a defense a unit we're just gonna like I said keep doing our job. I think we've had a hell of a year so far just getting to the quarterback, um, making plays in the backfield. 
Um, I think our biggest goal this week is to try to get uh, turnovers, try to win the turnover margin battle. And uh, um, along with that is uh, tackling. I think he's a pretty good running back, and he can spin out of things. So, I mean, wrapping up and finishing tackles is going to be a big one. All across the offensive board, they have a very young squad. Uh, what have you noticed so far that makes them so efficient running and passing? Uh, good players and a good scheme. Uh, yeah. They're very talented. They got a really good scheme. It creates a lot of one-on-one -on -one mismatches for you uh, and a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups all across the board. And so the guys that are throwing the ball and the guys that are doing that, they're really good players. I mean, the, they're, they're really all three. Unfortunately for them, one of them is, is probably hurt for the year. Uh, but the other, you know, the, the other guys that, that will have the possibility to play against us, they're really good players and, and probably the best we'll see all year. They're that kind of good. You know, I don't know that, that you're going to limit those things. you gotta, you got to win one-on-ones against a team like this. you got to get your best players in the best situations uh, to, to play and tackle their best players is really, I think, the key. And that's what we do every week. It's trying to get miss the, the matchups that we want back in our favor. Uh, hey, they're, they're really good players, and they've got a really good scheme. I wish you both the uh, best of luck this weekend. Great. And uh, thank you for yeah, joining us. Thank you. This is, uh, thank you. This is Let's Talk Thanks. About It, and I'm Jeremy Williamson. The women's volleyball team lost their third straight game last night to UW-Whitewater. On Friday, they will travel to Clark University, and the game is set to start at 7 p.m. in hopes of breaking their losing streak. That's all we have for you on this week's episode of Let's Talk About It. I'm Rebecca Bartlebay. And I'm Jeremy Williamson. We'll see you next time.